Anderson has several theories about how his ability works. Certain doctors and scientists have theorized maybe I'm using a greater percentage of my brain than the average person. Very possible. Um, maybe at one point they said one part of my brain is dead from the illness and another part has emerged. Very possible. To find out if George Anderson's brain works any differently during a reading, we tested him here in New York at the Hospital for Joint Diseases. These painless electrodes being attached to Anderson's head are hooked up to an EEG machine, a device that measures the brain's electrical impulses. A person's brain waves are different when they're asleep or in a trance. A doctor and an EEG technician would monitor the reading to see whether Anderson actually achieves a different level of consciousness. It says, Peace be with you. To help us with this part of the test, we located a woman who lost a family member several years ago. We made sure she had never met Anderson before said, this moment. The young male does pass tragically, correct? Because he's talking about a tragic passing prior to leaving this dimension. Nancy Ross's son, Jonathan, was a kid who lived on the edge. On July 3rd, 1986, he was making his own fireworks when an explosion ripped through his chest. In the darkest moment in a parent's life, Nancy was the one to find him. I was upstairs making the bed, so I came down, and the basement was filled with smoke, and John was still standing. Um, and he turned around, and his chest had been blown open. And then he collapsed on the stairs. Your son a little on the, um, I mean this politely, a little on the wild side? Daredevil. Yeah, because he seems to be telling me he's cooled down over there. <laughs> His passing is careless, though, yes? Because mm -hmm. he states it's an accident, but it's a careless accident. He does state that he lived life in the fast lane. Mm -hmm. Did some, something definitely affect his heart area? Because I keep feeling as if my heart blows. But it's not like he has a heart attack, because his massive injury to the chest. I feel like I'm blown away in the chest. He's got a weird sense of humor, too, yes? Because he, I don't mean to be disrespectful, it's him. He jokes and he says, figures I would go out with a bang, doesn't it? That makes sense? Yeah. Do you believe George communicated with your son oh, here today? Absolutely. Absolutely. The, the personality, the details, the things that made me laugh that he would have said or done, it, it, he almost took on his personality. He read him completely. His brainwaves were identical to those I've recorded from literally thousands of adults during waking states in similar conditions. So there's no way he was in a, a trance or a dreamlike state? Absolutely not. He was an awake person as measured by his brain electrical activity. George, what do you say to the skeptics, the people who are hearing all this and say, come on, George, this is just impossible? I don't think there's really anything I can say to them. Skepticism really means I don't know. If that be the case, then I'm a skeptic, because I don't know either.